Let's get Paul into something that that I that I that's super super important, right? We got to talk about my girl for a second. Eth's been holding strong. He's shorting her, bro. We talking about sticking that gold digger to the side. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. The the short is over. The short is over. Don't worry. I hear nothing. (laughs) I hear nothing. No one shorts Eth. But at any event, uh, what do so we've seen Eth holding strong? Okay, can you pull the Eth chart and tell me? Are you seeing some, are you seeing anything there right now, or is it the same chop that you're seeing with Bitcoin? It's just been holding stronger. Can you pull that up and, and kind of walk me through what you're seeing there right now? Yeah, yeah give, give, give him his uh, sleep medicine because he can't sleep anymore. He doesn't know what's going on. He's got he's, he's got panic in his hands. Oh my god, dude! ETH is the most exciting chart to me. I, I will say that right. So um, there you go. You can sleep, Nick. It's most exciting because it's going down big. No. <laughs> <laughs> From right, right, right here, right. This was, uh, like I said, I, I put, I put this on Twitter and everything, right. I was looking for, you know, uh, a top right here, uh, and then a pullback to like forty one hundred, right. So I did a small short on this, right, like twenty percent, whatever it was. Obviously, I missed out on a bigger opportunity because it, it shit the bed even more, but uh, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so ETH, unlike Bitcoin, so let's take a look at Bitcoin, right. You know, you know, Biddy uh, took took a nice forty percent hit, all in all, from November 9th. Um, giving right. all them all coins a chance to run, do something out here to the ground. Make a name for yourself. So thirty nine percent was Bitcoin, right to the downside. So Ethereum, on the other hand, only had fell, I think twenty five percent worst yeah. case. Yeah, right, twenty four, twenty five. So what this, you know, once again, one of the, one of the ideas we were talking about a few weeks back was where, and you know, like I, I know everybody loves just seeing, you know, the comparison between 2017 and whatever. But anyways, I'm going to show it as an example because it, it is important, I think. But the the time frame where we were talking about, uh, which technically was right here, uh, where this dump happens in Bitcoin is like 30, 40 percent, and then the altcoins did not fall that much, right? And it was kind of like the transition between. Uh, you know, some profits coming out of Bitcoin and then shooting over into, ETH, uh, well, all coins as a whole. The only problem is that the all coins as a whole actually really fell and Ethereum was the only one that didn't uh, this time around. Right. So um, once again, just kind of a tribute to, uh, you know, everything is not the same by any means, but whatever. We look at that as a pattern. Uh, so, yeah, Bitcoin fell 40 percent. Ethereum only fell 25. So to me, that almost shows that like some of the profits out of Bitcoin came into to ETH. Right. Because this look how quick this got bought up. I mean, Bitcoin got bought up pretty quickly, too. The, the, the wick down yeah. to 42K was less than an hour. Yeah, I think this was pro- like if we zoom in with an hour chart, I bet this was less than an hour, too. Right. So uh, ish. So maybe maybe four or five hours. But that one all the way down here was definitely less than one hour. Right. Anyways, on the daily time frame, you got Ethereum holding this structure. Right, you got this cup and handle broke out. This is the previous high, or well, not necessarily the previous all time high, but this is the the resistance line right here. Uh, and we've been holding over it right the entire time. So you got the previous all time high, the new all time high right here, forty eight, forty nine hundred, however you want to look at it. Um, I think it's technically like forty eight eighty. Uh, and essentially, yeah, we're just kind of cruising through here. Can we poke down bo- back below if Bitcoin pulls back for sure? Right. You got the uh, we're, we're at mercy of Bitcoin right now, no matter what. Right. Nothing escapes Bitcoin's gravity. If Bitcoin pulls back, everything's pulling back. That just is what it is. So uh, to where we've already been, definitely, you know, a possibility pull back again to thirty five, thirty six hundred dollars. Uh, but the next target I'm looking for is pretty much six thousand one hundred and forty three dollars for for Ethereum. Whether that's in the next couple of weeks, next month, uh, that would be my next uh, major area for ETH. Probably get a 20% pullback out of that, which means the entire market would probably see a 20% pullback. And I would imagine it looks just like that. Comes right back down, retest the previous high. Uh, and then we go upwards to that uh, that next $7,800 target that we've been looking at for quite a while. And then the $11,000 target would come in next. <clears throat> So but aside from is, that, Rick, I mean, can you hold on or can you hold on to that price point? Or are you going to just like listen, you, you you tell somebody you have put a game plan together, which is what we talk to our people about all the time. And you tell somebody, hey, I'm going to execute on a game plan. And then they bust your balls for 10 days straight. I'm just saying. Well, wait wait a minute. Saying. Our game plan, your game plan was selling at 100K Bitcoin. Right. Yep. And like uh, 8000 or so. Ethereum. Uh-huh. Yep. Bitcoin took a small little stumble. Hold and on. you're like you're like 40k bear market. Let me, I'm out. Let me let me, I'm let, out. me clip, let me clip what Miguel said earlier. 
if you can't be adaptable and adapt to change and make changes, that's uh, exactly about word for word what you said earlier. Uh, yes. And I was you, never you referring have... to selling. I was oh referring my. to the time frame of the only cycle. adapt. So, only yeah, adapt. Let's, only let's adapt cherry pick. How right? I tell let's you. Cherry you pick. cherry picked it. I didn't cherry pick. I made a nice <laughs> statement.